Hello, everyone. My name is Ivan Smurov, and I am one of uh, numerous people who participated in organization of uh, Rureba's uh, 2020 shared task, that is uh, Russian Relation Extraction for Business. Uh, today, I will give you a short preview of uh, our presentation. Please do not expect uh, a lot of technical details. Uh, we have them uh, and we'll report them uh, during the session. Uh, right now, I'm, uh, I will uh, speak more about our motivation and why uh, did we organize uh, the shared task uh, the way we did. Uh, while on Friday, during the main session, uh, we'll give you that again and uh, give you, additionally give you, uh, well, a lot of important and uh, maybe even interesting technical details. So if you are interested in our work, please participate in this session. All right, so uh, first of all, uh, our task is on name entity recognition and relation extraction. Uh, I doubt anyone in this, uh, room or in fact anyone who has some relation to natural language processing uh, doesn't know what these tasks are about uh, because these two tasks are very well established, very well researched and are present since at least uh, mid-90s. Uh, there are a number of well-known academic corpora such as uh, Cornell L3 and Samuel, um 2010 task eight for English or factor ML for Russian, uh, like uh, state of the art, uh, modern state of the art systems uh, demonstrate high performance on uh, all these corpora. Uh, in many cases, this performance is uh, practically on par with human performance. And in fact, uh, some uh, people in academia uh, well, claim that uh, at least named entity recognition is essentially a solved task. Uh, you you probably also know that uh, both tasks uh, are widely used in in, in industry. Uh, basically, whenever you have to structure and structure information, uh, some sort of named entity recognition or relation extraction is used. However, uh, in business, uh, typically the scores uh, on uh, real world data is much lower than demonstrated on um, academic corpora. Uh, I don't think that we don't think that uh, the reason for this is because um, uh, people who employ uh, these tasks in industry are ignorant of some state-of-the-art systems. Uh, in fact, we claim that uh, this difference is caused by specifics of uh, academic um, corporate used for name entity recognition. And uh, here are several key uh, differences between uh, academic and uh, like sort of typical industrial corporate. First of all, uh, academic baselines are usually, uh, academic corpora are usually um, made of some news or maybe Wikipedia texts that are very clean, very well-written texts, uh, or usually on some general domain. Um, on the other hand, business texts uh, are usually, uh, like, in over overwhelming majority of cases, are uh, domain specific. For instance, legal, uh, and usually these texts are much less uh, clean, uh, much less uh, contains much less perfect language. Uh, some irregularities. Like, for instance, long, very long, very complicated sentences, uh, some domain specific lexic, and so on. Here is the first difference between academic and industrial corporate. 
Um, the second uh, difference is that while the Ryan number of different uh, corporate uh, different types of entities in academia, uh, in majority of cases, uh, entities uh, that are extracted are compact and well defined. Uh, there is well little to know uh, doubt where the border of entity is um, located. While entities in industry are, in some cases at least, uh, much more loose, spanning for many words uh, with unclear borders and so on and so forth. These are not all the differences between typical business case scenarios and uh, academic corpora. However, in our opinion, these are probably uh, the most important ones. Okay, so when we decided to uh, organize this shared task, we had like several goals in our mind. Uh, first of all, create a corpus of some domain specific um, some specific domain. Uh, in our case, uh, the domain was uh, strategic planning documents uh, and provide some large number of uh, unmarked texts without any markup. Um, create some reasonable baseline on uh, this corpus. In our case, we organized a shared task and like the best uh, participants uh, models can be considered a baseline on this corpus. Uh, and we wanted this corpus to serve as a kind of a lower bound estimate or worst case scenario uh, for industrial applications. That is, we do not claim that all uh, text use in industry are uh, this bad as presented in our corpus. But we do claim that such corpora do exist and uh, that often when people try to employ natural language processing in business, they have to deal with, uh, at least in many cases, problems uh, that can be Ident identify on our uh, corpus. So, uh, a little bit more about uh, texts uh, that our corpus consists of. Um, so, uh, it contains uh, strategic planning documents uh, created by uh, Russian federal municipal subjects. Uh, in total, there are over 30,000 documents, uh, and uh, these documents have uh, some uh, some well, good for our purpose features. First of all, uh, texts are although the texts are like contain less than perfect language, uh, the whole purpose is pretty uniform. That is, all documents have the same domain. Uh, similar structure, size, purpose, and so on. Um, again, uh, most documents in this corpus uh, share the scope, uh, like uh, documents mention similar types of economic and social entities, uh, similar types of relations can be identified, and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, in essence, every document in this corpus has like fixed modality. Uh, usually, it identifies some problems of economic economy or society, uh, and some uh, plans for the future to solve problems, like actions, tasks, goals, and so on. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, we identified uh, a number of entities uh, on this corpus. I, I won't mention all of them, but for instance, uh, there is entity, for example, activity, uh, 
like some sort of event or specific activity, uh, e.g. Uh, drug prevention. Uh, or there is entity mm, uh, quant quantitative, uh, qual I'm sorry, uh, qualitative, uh, for instance, high quality or stable or low quality or so on. Okay. Uh, we also identified a number of relations. Uh, there are nine relations which are very uh, well connected to each other. Uh, for instance, uh, some uh, something positive, uh, neutral, and, and negative in present, uh, past, and future, and also to specific relations, uh, goals, and tests. Okay, so uh, during our shared task, uh, we organized uh, an annotation pipeline. Uh, the assessors used GRAD interface uh, to mark entities uh, and relations. Here is an example of some relations. For instance, in the phrase "политики в области обеспечения общественного порядка," we can identify um, two entities: uh, entities uh, binary обеспечения, entities social and goal обеспечения общественного порядка. Okay, so um, before, like after, after we created uh, a small number of uh, marked texts, we uh, employed uh, an active learning pipeline to speed up the uh, mark markup of the whole corpus, uh, and in total, in total. Uh, the data set consisted of uh, some uh, 190 train documents, uh, 30 test documents, uh, number like different, uh, there, there, there was a different number of different entity types, but uh, the order of magnitude was like tens of thousands of uh, instances of each entity. The entities were di diverse in length. Uh, from one to essentially five. Um, there were a few relations, but again, uh, some, uh, for some relations, there were thousands of examples, for some hundreds, but it's not an unreasonable amount of data. Okay, so uh, during shared task, we um, formulated three different tasks. Uh, Named entity recognition that is given uh, raw files. Uh, we expect uh, uh, spans uh, of each entity with labels. Um, M3 and relation extraction again given uh, raw text. We expect uh, all named entities and uh, all relations that can be identified in this text. And finally, relation extraction with given named entities, uh, raw text and uh, name entity recognition spans are given, and uh, we expect uh, to um, get uh, relations uh, in some reasonable format. Okay, so uh, during our main uh, presentation, we'll speak about results in more detail, but uh, like, let us look at the uh, scores obtained by winners of each task. Uh, and one can easily notice that the scores are, uh, well, kind of disappointing. Uh, for name identity recognition, uh, the highest scores obtained by participants uh, was uh, 0 0.56. Uh, compared to, for, for instance, uh, point 93 uh, obtained on a uh, coin LL03. Uh, for relation extraction, uh, the resulting scores are even lower. Uh, we'll speak a bit more about uh, what um, methods did participants use uh, to obtain these scores, but uh, 
I will only mention that they didn't use some um, good old methods uh, that are obsolete, uh, like all winners use state-of-the-art methods based on BERT, and yet uh, the scores obtained uh, on our corpus uh, were um, as follows. Uh, one can also uh, assume that there is a problem with our corpus. That is, uh, all the participants did use uh, reasonable methods uh, since uh, the corpus uh, might have been uh, imperfect. Uh, the resulting scores are um, disappointing. Well, we claim that this is not the case. Uh, we'll give you some uh, evidence uh, on that uh, during our main um, presentation. But uh, as of now, I will just mention that uh, this year, simultaneously with our shared task, um, there was organized and another, uh, essentially named the entity recognition task, uh, Semaval uh, 2020 task 11, or propaganda detection task. And uh, one can easily uh, notice that uh, scores obtained on these tasks uh, are essentially the same uh, as the scores obtained by our participants. That, that, that is uh, 0.5 something. Uh, we claim that uh, the reason for this is because uh, while the corp both the corpora and the entities uh, in our task and in uh, propaganda detection task are completely different, uh, they have one important similarity, and that is, uh, the entities uh, in these two tasks are have well less than uh, clear defined borders and are typically long. And uh, while it is imperfect for academic corpora, uh, we claim that this is um, often the case with industrial. Uh, application of the identity recognition and relation extraction. So uh, this is a short preview. Uh, we'll give you a lot more details during the main uh, presentation, but if you are interested, you are welcome to participate, maybe prepare some questions for us. We are expecting you to um, participate in the discussion. So that is it, and I'll see you on Friday.